Hello guys and welcome back to another uh, tutorial for mCreator. Uh, today we're on 1.9.0 so we're going to be just creating a basic right click uh, event while shifting so uh, definitely tune in for that. Uh, now I'm not going to cover too much uh, how the workspace uh, looks and stuff like that this episode. It's not too much different from what it was before, but I think it would probably be a good idea to do a quick tutorial on just some of the layouts and stuff like that in the near future. But uh, right now we're just going to go to our uh, creator workspace and then we're going to go to our resource tab, import a texture for, let's see, so import and block texture and then we want to find our block texture mine is on my desktop so that's good and then we can go and create a block element quickly so we'll just uh, go test block and then we'll select our textures if you select the blue square it will do all of them while it, just selecting the bottom one or any other one will do a single texture. Um, all this is fine. We don't need to worry about that. We can click next down here. We can give it a GUI name. So um, test lock. And we don't need too much other things. Rock, I like how they've changed some of the GUI items. This looks a lot better now. And that's good. So we can click next and next and next. And finally we get to uh, our right click event and a few other events here as well. So what we want to do is go to something like a right click event or one added event or something that requires a player to interact with it. So you wanna find things that say entity uh, so that one would be a valid one um, if a player is like shift clicking while destroying the block that would be one as well or start to destroy that would be an option uh, mainly you probably for beginners and stuff you want to go with a right click event just to kind of get the idea of it so we're just going to create a new procedure and we're going to make an if statement because we need that in order to test for what we want and then what we're going to do is just quickly add a else statement. Uh, so like I've done a tutorial on how to use if statements. So if you haven't uh, checked out the mCreator wiki tutorial page for um, how to use procedures and stuff like that, it's probably on that page. And then what we want to do is go to, I think it's under entity. So if we scroll down, yeah, it's under this one. So there's a uh, one called uh, is entity sneaking. There's a few other ones here as well that you can select. So is entity sprinting, riding, uh, being ridden, uh, burning. But what we're after for shift shifting is sneaking. So we're just gonna plop that on right there, like so. And then what we want to do is basically do something. Um, best way to test to see if this actually works is to, so player, and then you scroll down until you see per, send message to provided entity, and then there should be two elements attached to it. So we're just going to output a text um, going player is shift shifting or sneak in. and you can leave that as false it'll just show in the um, hot bar uh, just above it if you set this to true and then we just want to make another variable so when we right click on it it will if it we're not sneaking then it will say something else this will give us an indication if there is um, an issue or something like that it just kind of adds an extra security this generally this line right here will generally be removed in uh, when you're about to publish your mod and stuff and then you can basically make sure that it's 
working beforehand. So if we go and type uh, the player is not sneaky, sneaking, and then we just add procedure, and then we click next and next. So we'll hop in game next and um, we'll test this out so you guys can see how it all works. Okay, just uh, before we hop in game, uh, right up here there's a little play button. Uh, full uh, run client, it says. Uh, that's for the test environment now. So if we click that, we can kind of just leave that up, I guess. It should be fine. And we'll have a new window pop down on the bottom of the screen here. We can actually increase that and then we'll start a new test world up. So test, I'm just going to disable the music in just a second. Okay. So if we go to our uh, blocks tab, we'll have this. And if we place that down, it obviously sounds like dirt because we didn't configure it. But if we just right click it, it says player is not sneaking. But if we click it down like this while we're shifting, I'll show you. See if we're shifting. It will say that the player is shifting or sneaking. So that's basically how you can create a block that will be able to create a um, test if the player is sneaking or not. So hopefully you guys found that in uh, this tutorial helpful. Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.